And welcome back. As per usual, I'd like to remind you there are many ways you can contact me. Uh, there's always Facebook. Uh, click like. Don't forget you got to like the, fa the Facebook page first. Become part of the Chit Chat family. I also got two email addresses for the program. It's chitchattvshow uh, at gmail.com or chitchat at columbusgrenada.com. Uh, link up with us today and let's see what we can do for the new year and spread some really good vibe. Well, Happy New Year again is in effect to all of you and thank you for supporting the program. We really do appreciate it uh, from the bottom of our hearts. And we continue on the show today. And this is a long overdue uh, sit down moment, I tell you. Man, I've been waiting for almost four. He correct me. He'll, he'll correct me in a few minutes. But it could be almost four years I've been waiting for this moment. I think uh, a lot of the times people, you know, they come at your throats to get stuff from you, you know, when the iron is hot. But I chose for the nice, cool moments when a chap gets to relax and when he can really kick back and lay back and, and not have me ask questions that might be, you know, off limits. <laughs> he's going to be like, what the heck is she talking about? Well, you notice, yes, he's here with me. I have uh, our very own 2012 and Olympic gold medalist. He will forever be an Olympic gold medalist. You can't take that from him. Karani James is with me today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. How are you doing? Doing good. Good. I really appreciate this. Thank you for making the time. I know when you come back home, it's, it's always hectic. Yeah. How's it been for you for the Christmas season and everything, being home with family and friends? Um, you know, it's been good. You know, uh, just, you know, I have a lot to do. So mm -hmm. I'm, you know, back and forth all the time. But... Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, just being home is, is, a, is a blessing, is, is, oh, is yeah. enough for me. So oh, yeah. I'm just glad to be back, you know, see yeah. family, see friends, you know, just see the country, the nice weather and everything. Ah, like yeah, that. you're so, telling me. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Let's talk about, can you remember how long ago you sat in the studio with me? Have you ever seen that video? I see it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I see it. You look at yourself and you're like, man. I had milk on my face yeah. and everything. Yeah, I have picture here now, so. <laughs> you, 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 lots of changes, lots of changes. Let's talk about the changes that Karani James has been through, um, whether it's personal changes, or the big, <laughs> uh, and, and even changes within your career. How, how has all the transitioning and everything been for you? You know, it's been good. You know, I, I think I've, you know, been fortunate enough to have a lot of people in my life that, you know, I've been in situations where, you know, where I want to be, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, have, you know, the opportunity for them to guide me and, and, and help me along the way. So, I mean, it, it was, it's a very, you know, in terms of, you know, me just accepting, you know, the title that I have and, and, and you know, just appreciating it and, and doing everything I can to, to uh, keep it fresh, yeah. you know. Every and, time. Um, you know, not put any stains on it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just mm -hmm. have a lot of people in my life, you know, to help me along that way and just guiding me and making yeah. sure I'm on the right track. Yeah. Speaking about changes, what has that gold medal? You don't have it with you, do no. you? <laughs> <laughs> it's in a special case? No, it's not in a special case. No? No. Nah. Um, are you allowed to tell me where it is? I can't tell you where it is because you might go steal it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to know. I, I can't tell you. I will never place. do that. But, but, and I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> But talking about changes again, um, what would you say, capturing that title, what has it done for you as an individual? Well, really just, um, you know, a change in title, basically. And I just try to keep, you know, being the same person, you know, keep the same, you know, friends in my life, you know. Also making new ones that help me, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of, you know, maintaining that title and, and, yeah. and just, you know, like I said, you know, not putting any stains on it. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I just try to be the same person that I am, you know, since... You know, I started, you know, 13 years old. Of course, you know, you have to be more, more mature in certain situations, but you know, I just try to, you know, keep it the same, you know, you know, still hang around, you know, same friends, you know, just, just be the same person that I, that, yeah. that I am. So. Yeah, just no changes, just, yeah. just, just, just a new title. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Olympic <laughs> champ, new title, <laughs> but same old me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. How... How do you handle 
situations, and I'm really tempted to find this out from you from a one-on-one -on -one basis, but how do you deal with persons who will come to you to, to, to pick or dissect where you may have gone wrong in certain, let's say, races, etc.? You know, there's always that person that mm -hmm. comes to you, man, what happened in Moscow? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. How do you mentally prepare yourself? Because the media will always be the media, yeah. you know? They, they, they lift you up, they bring you down, they, yeah. they show the colors. How do you handle that? How do you prepare yourself mentally to deal with those questions? I mean, you just have to be real and, and honest with them. Mm -hmm. You know, you, just, you don't have to put on a front. You know, you, there's a thin line between confidence and cockiness when, you, when you're, you're speaking to the media, and, and, and you have to be careful along that line. So, mm -hmm. you know, in, in my interviews, you know, I always try to, you know, be real and, and try to express the kind of person that I am, you know, away from the track. And just try to put that in, into my, you know, interviews and responses and everything like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, when I, I, I have, you know, good accomplishments or disappointments, you know, the, 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 the interviews are really basically along the same line. So mm -hmm. the media, they don't really, you know, try to interview me much or anything like that because there's not nothing interesting to, to really, you know, <laughs> or contrasting to really yeah. talk about. So, yeah. you know, I mean, you just have to be real and be honest with, with them and just speak your mind. Yeah, yeah. Well said. Well said. Um, Footprints. Let's talk a little bit about Footprints, the documentary. How do you feel about that? Did you get to see any little sneak peeks? I saw, I saw, on the, on the I saw a little bit of it. You know, How I mean, do you feel about it? It's, it's, it's good. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's good. Am I, do I actually have you, you're, you're actually sounding like, you're not, well, you're not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I think it'll be quite exciting yeah. to see the end product and, and when it, it you know, because yeah. it's basically telling you a story from start to finish. Yeah. yeah. I look out for it. Yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting. You just look, you look like there's more to say, but you're not saying. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So should we leave it there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm working with you. I'm working with you. I'm working with you. Um, here's a question that I know someone really want me to ask mm -hmm. you um and it, it basically has to do with fan attention how do you mm -hmm. deal with the attention of the fans in particular all the young ladies swooning over you how do you deal with that <laughs> <laughs> did i see a blush <laughs> nah, in terms of in what context in terms of oh wow i'm asking the questions here right? <laughs> Like I no, said, just, just you know, how you I, do it. I mean, you have, you know, I, I know yeah. you, there's always a photo op moment. There's always probably people want to get your number, you know, that kind of thing. How do you, how do you handle these situations? You know, I mean, in terms of just, you know, the regular, you know, fan, mm -hmm. I mean, especially in Grenada, it's always a pleasure, you know, somebody recognizing you and, and, and you know, wanting to take your picture. So, like I said, it goes with, you know, that responsibility and that territory that mm -hmm. you know you create for yourself Absolutely. you know so Absolutely. i mean for me to to you know see somebody that wants a picture and for me to say no yeah you know, i might as well just quit yeah. you know athletics all 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 together mm -hmm. because you know even though I, I i do it because i love it you mm -hmm. know all the other stuff that comes with it you know even the, the negative parts yeah you know, it's just a part of it that you have to deal with like yeah. i said i have a lot of people that help me along those lines and and you know just Keep help you on the right coach me you yeah. know in terms of you know being real and and what to expect from people and, oh, and yeah. stuff like that so yeah. you know i'm i'm very guided throughout mm -hmm. the, this whole mm -hmm. process so mm -hmm. um it's not something that you know um that you know i'm gonna make a mistake and say i'm gonna learn from that is that right i have I already have people that have been in the same situation that i, I could learn from so mm -hmm. i don't make those same mistakes yeah yeah and I, I, and I know I do agree with you because now you've stuck to answering the question in a basic, in basic content, context because you know they got the aggressive ones and they got the ones who might stalk you and yeah. you might, you know, yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing, right? So I, I guess the coaching and everything comes along. It, it, yeah. It's an entire package and you yeah. have to learn how to, like you say, you got to learn to deal with the good and the bad, mm -hmm. the positive and the negative yeah. in a really diplomatic way that exactly. doesn't leave 
people, you know, yeah. um, feeling all shattered and everything. How's how's school going? How's studies going? I know you're part time now, yeah. so is that a bit of a challenge for you? It's it's just annoying, you know, because it's 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 right there. Yeah. But it's still so far away because yeah. you're part time. Yeah. You know, um, if I was full time, I would have. You know, roughly about three semesters left because I'm part time. Is that time is way extended. Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean, but if I know it's going good, it's not as strenuous as when I was full time mm -hmm. and a professional athlete. You know, have to do obligations and all that stuff. So I mean, it's not as that, you know, hectic. Right. You know, right now. Right. Good. Good. What do you enjoy the most? I mean, first of all, before I go before I go forward with that question, Karani, you're in a downtime now, are yeah. you? Yeah. Right. But I'm still training and stuff. So. You're training, obviously. Yeah. You got to keep the machines working, right? You got to keep those legs going. Um, but w explain to me some of the highlights of your downtime. What does Karani really enjoy doing, especially when he comes home? <laughs> you know, just really spending time at home. You know, everything that comes after is really, you know, secondary. Mm -hmm. And as long as I'm home, you know, my community in Guelph, you know, and um, you know, just being home, seeing childhood friends, you know, seeing you know my parents and uh, my family and everything like that. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's good enough for me. You know, yeah. e everything else, yeah. you know, it it's it's just an add-on. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you cop the title again, Sportsman of uh, of the Year. Congratulations on that. How do you feel about some of the other young uh, athletes coming up now? You got Ori Charbin, who's yeah. doing. Oh my God, I can't find a word to describe yeah. this girl. She is so awesome. How do you feel about all these other young people who are doing really great in swimming and track and tennis? Mm -hmm. What's, what's your I mean, they're doing good in, in their, you know, respected disciplines. You know, I just hope they stay focused and, and you know, their parents and their friends keep them motivated. Yeah. You know, most importantly, they keep themselves motivated. Absolutely. And, you know, I really wish them the best because, you know, um, it's, it's great to see, you know, more than one, you know, person going out there representing the country, mm -hmm. you know, on the world stage, you know, I, I think it's, it's good, you know, I, I really keep up, you know, with, you know, what, what what's going on in terms of, you know, sports in the country and everything like that. So, I mean, there are a lot of guys, you know, that are capable, you know, of doing great things, you know, mm -hmm. they, they just have to stay focused and um, have people in their lives to take them to the next level. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good advice, good advice. What would you say was one of the, and, and I'm not speaking in any context of your career or anything, it's just a general question. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering, what are, what are you coming <laughs> with? <laughs> what are you coming with? But what would you say was one of the, the, the highlights of 2013 for 2013? you? 2013? Um. I don't know. I think every moment is, is unique in its own way. You know, so I, I don't really have really highlights of the year. I mean, if, if you're talking about, you know, on paper, on black and white, mm -hmm. I think it would be um, on the track. You know, I had a you know, great season, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. um, I had a great race in Paris. You know, I had a great one in Shanghai mm -hmm. where, you know, there's some people from Grenada. You know, all the way in Shanghai. <laughs> Wonderful. Chair, so, I mean, Wonderful. I would say on, on, on track and field, that, that would be the highlight. Yeah. Uh, a couple, not a couple, but early in the year, I believe, um, or it could have been last year. I could be wrong. Well, you know, Grenadians got all crazy, including myself, when we saw you doing your little modeling stint and stuff <laughs> and Nike, and we just got all crazy. Let's talk about that experience a little. How how exciting was it for you, or difficult? Some people are like, man, I don't know how these models do this, you know. You look like you just fit in, <laughs> if I should just add that. How was that experience for you? I mean, it is difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel it for, you know, full-time models. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Not oh, yeah, but, they make um, it look so easy. You know, I, mean, they, they, I mean, it's usually, you know, four hours, five hours of shooting and yeah. stuff. And it's just, you know, just seeing how, you know, their world is, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, you know, full-time professional mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And, and just how into it, you know, the people are in it, how seriously they take, they take their work. And yep. you know, everything's on time, you know. You know, they, they have all the equipment they need and everything like that. So, I mean, it's just... Uh, uh, a good experience just yeah. to be a part of, you know, yeah. really. Yeah. Did you have many takes? 
Okay, Karani, we didn't like that face. Now, could you give us another look? Did you have yeah, that? They, they did that, but they said it in a more nicer way. You know? Champ, yeah. could you just do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay, well, I have... I, there's a little something going on right now in, in current affairs that I really want to get some feedback uh, from you um, based on the the uh, the renaming of the Cuthbert uh, Peters Park, which is uh, in your community to the Karani James Mini Stadium. Um, how do you feel about this initiative? Is that official? Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's say unofficially, we're asking this question. <laughs> unofficially. Um, unofficially. You know, like I said, you know, with, you know, like, you know, the boulevard and, and everything like that, you know, anything, you know, that's bestowed in your name is, mm -hmm. you know, it's a huge honor. Like I said, you know, it goes with, you know, what you do. You know, in your sport, you know, if you if you, if, if you don't want that, then you, you shouldn't be doing it at all. So, yeah, like I said, it's just an honor, just you know, having my name on something, mm -hmm. you know, so that people can remember, you know, my achievements, you know, um, you know, future generations to come, right? You know, they can remember, you know, what you know, I'm doing for you yep. know, the country in terms of representing in, in in the best positive way I can. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, it's just a huge honor. Yeah. You know, Do you unofficially, feel, or officially. unofficially or officially. Do you in any way feel a tad bit uncomfortable, though, with the fact that Cuthbert Peters Park has been in existence for so long and he, there's a name that's been associated with Guav? Do, do you feel yeah. any kind of, uh, could they just name something else? Do you feel, <laughs> how do you well, feel about I mean, that? The naming and, and stuff is, is, <clears throat> you know, is not up to me. That, that's beyond my control. You know, all I try to, you know, focus on doing this, you know, representing, you know, country in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I have any say in, in what yeah. should name what. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, you know, um, you know, my job is to just go out there on the track, you know, and, you know, be, you know, in the outside world and represent Grenada, you know, in a positive way, in a diplomatic yeah. way, and, and, and um, you know, make the country known. So, yeah. Um, every, everything else I have no control over. That's, that's the only thing I'm, I'm really focused on right now. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha on that. Um, before we wrap things up, because I know you're a man with a very hectic schedule, so um, I'm going to keep this short. But if I can, just have a little fun moment right now. Uh, not that we weren't having fun, but <laughs> give us a little idea as to, you know, how Karani um, enjoys certain factors of life in terms of movies, music, yeah. you know. What are you listening to now in terms right of now? music? Yeah. Uh, Chronic. Yay! Yeah. Oh, yes! Yeah. You actually here for that concert. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I, I peaked a photo with yeah, uh, both I, of you I at the mall. Yeah, I had a good moment with Chronic. Yeah, I like yeah. that. No, he, he's, in, he's yeah, incredible. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's good. And, and the, the good thing about it is that he's my age. Yeah. And if you listen to his music, you never think a 21-year-old is, is yeah. making that kind of yeah. music. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. You know, I hope he just, you know, keeps humble and, and keep positive and just keep on making good music. Yeah. You know, and don't um, let our ex expectations down of him. You know, True. Because he has huge expectations right now, and I hope yeah. he realizes that. So. Yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. I got to see him in action as well. He's, yeah. he's just fantastic. Really fantastic. Movies, what are you into? Um, everything. I'm, I'm a, a, I like to watch the, you know, a, 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 a lot of the comic books, you know, oh, movies. Um, yeah. The Marvel production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like a lot of comedies. I like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm a huge movie buff. Yeah. Too, so. What are you looking forward to? I know there's tons of stuff coming out now. What are you looking forward to? Is there any trailer that you've seen that you uh, like? Mm, next yeah. year, there's a lot of, of trailers. Mm -hmm. They have um, Expendables three. Mm -hmm. They have um, uh, Spider Man. All yeah, that stuff. Uh, all, that stuff. All, all that stuff. All that stuff. Wasn't sorry. I'm not surprised that you call <laughs> those names at all. Yes. Yeah, so. Not surprised at all. Books? Do you do you read? I should read more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know exactly I how you more, feel. But I have, you know, a friend that always, you know, um, he always gives me, you know, makes me books to read and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, I, I have a a fair amount of books home. That, you know, that you just that, need to find that yeah, time. Yeah, I, I need to find that, that time moment. Read, yeah. yeah, you just read to two read pages and you can say, "I'm reading this." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, happens yeah. to me all the time. Happens to me all the time. Let's talk food. When you come home, what's one of the first things you actually crave to have? 
I don't know. This year, I had a, 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 a craving for Tanya Log. For real? Yeah. Mm. I, I, I don't know why. I just... You know, <laughs> yep, the guys agree. <laughs> like, I just woke up one morning, I, I called my friend, I'm like, yo, we need to make a Tanya Log. Yeah. <laughs> if you made it, you could, yeah? That was actually, I think it was Boxing Day. Yeah. So when it was open, it was like, man, we, we can't make that right now. So I think we made it the, the next year or something. Right. But I had a huge craving for that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, any, anything I get home, mm -hmm. you know, is, is food that I haven't had in a while anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, I like it, you know. Anything my mother makes. Yeah. You know, it's always good. So. Yeah. How's your mama doing? She's doing She's all right. She's good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. If you weren't a star athlete and i know you don't like people calling it up but if you weren't an athlete uh -huh. what would you be what would you have been doing that's a good question i'd probably still be in school somewhere mm -hmm. you know trying to further my education mm -hmm. you know probably in some engineering something yeah. something fancy yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> something fancy i like that something fancy you know, but, yeah. um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't get given that much thought. I know. Of where I, I know. I, I would have been. Yeah. You know, but you know, that's the road that you know I took, and, and yeah. you know, it's gonna it's lead, leading me somewhere in terms of doing no something. No regrets. Yeah. You know, no positive, regrets so. at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm man. happy with with the, the okay. road I took. Absolutely. The entire world is happy <laughs> with the road you took, especially <laughs> Grenadians. 2014 and beyond. What does 2014 have in store? I was talking about you know. People should get in the habit of setting goals, you mm -hmm. know, and instead of making all these bizarre resolutions and all of that, just <laughs> set some goals, you know, make them practical. Yeah, Don't, yeah I'm by the May, I'm going to be on the moon, you know, you, you want to make it practical, so, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. You never know what's going to happen, but do you have any goals? Is there anything um, Kirani James would love to accomplish in 2014? Um, you know, just um, on the track, you know, as, a, as an athlete, you know, just be competitive and consistent, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, do well this semester in school, too. And, um, you know, just um, that's uh, the, the real yeah. goals I, 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 I For now. really set out. So, so nothing really out of the way, like skydiving, bungee no. jumping. Right, so, so that's all the time we have on the program today. Kirani, I just want to say thank you so much. This has been long overdue. And like I say, you know, no, nothing ever happens before it's time. And I'm finally happy that I've got some time with you. And I do appreciate it. A pleasure to be here. Keep up the good work and keep inspiring our youth. Uh, thank you. And keep inspiring Grenadians as well. <laughs> Thank you. All the best for the new year. All right, folks, that's the program today. Remember to stay in tune with what's happening with our Facebook page. We've got our YouTube channel as well. If you've missed an interview here and there, don't panic. It might just be on YouTube. So have a wonderful day. Stay positive. Stay blessed. And remember, let's start sticking to our, our goals and making them a reality. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.